Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, no zoop for you here, and today we're going to do a review of the Tier 7 Italian Destroyer FR-25. This is a premium destroyer, and I'm just going to come out and say it right away, this might be the perfect destroyer for ranked gameplay. In fact, right now it's my favorite destroyer for ranked play, and I'll get into why here in a little bit. I, I just absolutely love this ship, I picked it up on a whim, uh, I, I really wasn't planning on getting it. But I've really wanted a good destroyer for Tier 7. One that I feel comfortable in. One that I enjoy playing in. And I think I finally found it. Uh, for the most part, I've been playing Battleships. Uh, FR-25 is available for doubloons. Or you can pick it up for $27.20. And that's the base model. $27.20. I feel that if you have the doubloons laying around, I think it's about 7,000 doubloons or so. It is completely worth it. Uh, I'm not going to go out and say this ship is overpowered, but in the right hands, it is absolutely devastating. It's disgusting. You can do very nasty things with this ship. And overall, it's just an absolute blast to play in a ranked gameplay setting where you've got 7-on-7. Seven seven. So first, I'm going to run you through what I have my 21-point captains uh, set up as on this ship. Then I'm going to go into the stats of this ship and let you know a little about it. Uh, first and foremost, I take Liquidator. Uh, I want to increase that flooding chance because your torpedoes, while you have six of them, they're not the strongest in the world. Uh, they only do about, well, it says they can do up to 14,800 damage, but I have not seen them do that. On top of that, I'll get into the range and everything else. You, you just really want to boost uh, the assets of the torpedoes. Uh, I use Swift Fish for an additional 5% to the speed. I also use fill the tubes to get that torpedo reload time decreased. Obviously, you're going to take last stand. That's just what you take with destroyers. I take consumable enhancement expert. Um, you could also, well, no, you're not. You're not going to take demolition expert. And the reason why is you're not going to use HE. You're going to use SAP the entire time for the most part. Um, very, very. Every so often, you might find yourself using HE, but i found for the most part that I don't have any issues setting fires with a volley or two, so I, I would just stick with the uh, consumables enhancement. Uh, another thing you're going to take is Superintendent. You want as much smoke as possible, and I'll get into the reason why here in a little bit. Go ahead and take Main Battery and AA Expert. You need that additional 20% increase to main battery firing range. Uh, you absolutely need that because your guns are pretty short as it is. And lastly, you're going to take Concealment Expert. Uh, that's how I have my 21-point captain set up. If you don't quite have the 21-point captains, um, I would probably forego something in the, uh, the third skill point area. Maybe fill the tubes, uh, but that's your choice right there, whether you want Superintendent or fill the tubes. So, let's talk about this ship in general. Survivability, 19,000 hit points. Your artillery, you've got five guns, five 139mm guns. You do have sap, and with the range increase, you get a range of 15.2 kilometers, which is actually pretty generous. Now, keep in mind that sap can be absolutely dev devastating against cruisers. Uh, it works very, very well against cruisers. It works great against destroyers. You can absolutely wreck destroyers. Uh, but that's not the main purpose of this ship. It's not necessarily a gunboat whatsoever. Which brings us to the torpedoes. You have two launchers with three tubes each. Maximum speed with everything added is 75 knots. Uh, given that your torpedo range is six kilometers, once you close that distance and launch them, view, very few ships are going to be able to get out of the way of these torpedoes, which is a good thing. Uh, depth charges, I'm not really going to go into those. Uh, maneuverability, max speed of 37.8 knots with Sierra Mikes. So you, you've got a pretty generous top speed. Uh, the ship's fairly nimble. I wouldn't say it's the most nimble in the world. It, it's kind of in between. It's middling. It's not super nimble. It's not super sluggish. So it just works. And concealment, uh, with everything added, you're looking at 6.3 kilometers. So definitely not the best concealment out there. But that really doesn't matter. And the reason why for that is on your equipment you have some very awesome things that you can use and that is primarily the exhaust smoke generator and if you've played italian destroyers by now you know what the exhaust smoke generator does that gives you full speed concealment 
that means you can run at full speed and you will not get detected with this until you're probably about, I'd say, two kilometers away from an enemy ship. And that is what makes this ship so absolutely disgusting in ranked gameplay. Whether you're going up against destroyers or cruisers or other battleships. Unless there's a radar ship out there, which uh, for the most part I've, I've seen few and far between. I mean, you'll, you'll get them every now and then, but they're not an every round type of thing. Uh, and even if you have those in the round, you know, you, you, chances are you're going to be on the other side of the map or doing something else. So really this ship, I, I mean, there are very few cons about this ship. And I'll just touch on what I think the cons are real quick. Um, obviously, torpedoes, you're limited. You only have six. Still, more than enough, if you get six good hits on a battleship, you're going to sink it. Dev strike, you're good to go. Uh, obviously, the concealment's not the best, but it has to be this way. It, it does, because if the concealment was any better, this ship would be overpowered. It, it really would. Uh, really, there are few cons I can think of of this ship. I mean, you, you've even got a generous amount of hit points. 19,000 is not that bad uh, for a Tier 7 destroyer. So, let's talk about the pros of this ship. And once again, I, I've already told you, I think this is the best destroyer for ranked gameplay at Tier 7. Absolute best. Especially for those of you that just like to stick in the Bronze League. Uh, you know, you, you uh, ranked seal clubbers that just keep collecting steel and bronze because you don't feel like dealing with uh, silver. I know there's a lot of you out there. And, it, and if you're looking to do that, there's no better ship to do that with than this. Um, the, the pros of this ship, it, it is an absolute devastating raider. Uh, and I, I'll tell you, my, my favorite method of using this ship is I just make a high-speed beeline to the other side of the map, wait for one of those battleships or cruisers to get spotted, and right as you're approaching, right as you're approaching the limits of your visibility, once you're about to get spotted and you're closing in on that battleship or that cruiser or, e or even that destroyer, that is when you pop your smoke and that is when you pop your engine boost and you close the gap. And as you're closing the gap, you get within about four kilometers or so of the enemy ship, maybe a little less, you know, if you can time it right. You start that curve, that 180 turn headed the other way, and you launch those torps. And there is nothing, there's absolutely nothing the enemy ship can do about it if they don't know you're there. Even if they do know you're there, there's very little they can do about it, provided that you haven't fired your guns, provided that they don't have hydro up, or haven't popped it. And even if they do, it's usually too late uh, by the time you get in closing distance. A lot of times you can pull this off without being hit whatsoever uh, especially if the enemy ship is spotted by other ships however even if the enemy ship is not spotted by other ships even if you lose visibility on it and you still close that gap you're going to get spotted at about two kilometers and that's going to spot them as well and by then they're barely even going to be able to get their guns on you and at that point you just launch your torps and whatever ship that is is gone so this ship really works best in a 1v1 situation. You know, if you get more than two or three ships in an area, yeah, you can still do this, provided that there's no hydro or provided that there's no radar up. And it's absolutely fun to do. It is so much fun doing this. I, I mean, that is what makes this ship so good. In a random battle, it's a little tougher because you've got so many ships out there. you got so much going on and the ability to be bottom tiered. But... In a 7v7 rank setting, this ship is absolutely perfect. And if you get that first kill, that just absolutely sets the game off on your team's direction. Puts the other team in disarray. They get scared. They run. And I haven't even got to the guns yet. This is just the torpedo and the exhaust smoke generator. Your guns are good. Your sap is good. I can think of very few other ships at tier 7, destroyer-wise, that I'm afraid of because of that sap. Your sap is absolutely devastating against other destroyers. Now, reload time, yeah, it's a little lethargic, 6.6 .6 seconds, but it has to be like that because each shell has a maximum damage of 2,000. And now you're not going to get that, but yes, you can absolutely pummel a ship. And I've taken out destroyers in just three or four salvos. So your, your guns are there as well. 
I mean, when, when I say this might be the perfect ship for ranked gameplay, I'm, I'm not kidding. It is just that fun. It is just that devastating. It's just that scary to play against. And I, I have not come across any. I am the only one that I have seen playing this in ranked gameplay. In all the games that I've played with this ship, I have not come across another FR-25. And I think the reason why is that many players just wrote it off. You know, they're like, oh, an Italian premium, whatever, tier 7. Who wants that? But for those of you out there looking for a destroyer that you can absolutely wreck face in during ranked gameplay at tier 7, this is the destroyer you've been looking for. This is an absolute blast to play. Highly recommend it. Well worth the 7,000 doubloons, which I just happen to have laying around. Uh, yeah. If you pick up this ship and you're a decent player, you're not going to be disappointed. If you are not the best at cruising in, gauging when to launch torps, and generally like to play back a little more, eh, this might not be the ship for you. Especially if you rely on sitting in smoke, because of course, you know, the benefits of this smoke is moving full speed. So... That, that, those are my thoughts on this ship. FR-25, great Italian destroyer, tons of fun to play, great premium ship, uh, perfect, perfect for ranked gameplay. Uh, anyhow, uh, best of luck, and if you do plan on purchasing it or do purchase it, let me know what you think about it. I'm interested to hear, especially if you have some different tactics out there. Hope you all are doing wonderful. Zoop out.